Well, our lead story tonight is all happening in Gujarat where Ankit and Tanushree are joining me. But Ankit, let's go across live to you because you're at that mega roadshow. Where has the Prime Minister reached in this 50 kilometers planned roadshow? Well, the Prime Minister has covered, uh, Sonia, almost 34 uh, kilometers uh, of this roadshow so far. And what a mega, and uh, this is a very trademark Narendra Modi BJP style mega event that they have created out of this. 16 constituencies of the 23 constituencies of uh, Ahmedabad were to be covered. 14 have been, uh, will be covered when he reaches here at Subhash Chowk where I'm standing right now. Traffic has been blocked and everywhere that you will see, uh, it will be the supporters of the BJP and their flags. And throughout this road show, uh, which has now been going on for more than two and a half hours, uh, it started around 5.15, it's uh, 8.03 right now, so it's been more than two and a half hours, almost quarter to three. Uh, the Prime Minister has con continuously been on an open uh, vehicle. Uh, we've not usually seen that because the Prime Minister and for his security usually is in a covered vehicle. Uh, we are expecting him to arrive here uh, in just about a few minutes from now. No, so we can see the Prime Minister there. It's also been a day where we've seen the voting so far numbers coming in, so less than 2017. But uh, what about what uh, where, where you are, Tanishri? Surat, of course, is one of the key districts voting today. That's right. In fact, Sonia, we are right now in a very famous hotel in Surat and I right now have with me some of the voters, though the voting percentage, as you rightly mentioned, is lower than that of 2017. 60% nearly is the voting percentage which has been recorded till 5pm and today many important districts were on poll uh, which basically, you know, is going to decide uh, the winning factor in the state of Gujarat. In, you know, there was voting in Saurashtra, Kutch, Morbi, Rajkot and Surat. Surat is a BJP bastion, but this time around, there there was a triangular fight where BJP was not just fighting against the Congress but also the Amadmi Party. Aaj aap log ke yaha polling hua apne bhi vote kiya? Ji kiya aapne. Ab dikha dije ek baar dikha dije. To ye polling apne kiya. Ji. Acha mujhe batayiye ga nahi kisko vote kiye hai par ye batayiye ki kya mudde kya hote hai jab ek aadmi surat mein aaj vote kar raha hai. Sabse zaruri kahi na kahi kya mudda dimag mein chala maddan karte vaak. Mudda to kya hai logo ki soch rehti hai ki sarkar achhi bane. Ji. Aan. Aur kaam achha ho. Vikas ho. Vikas ho. पहले तो स्वास्थ्य के ऊपर हो, शिक्षा के ऊपर हो, यही सब मिडल क्लास की सोच पर हो, रोजगार के ऊपर हो, हाँ, हम लोग यही चाहते हैं अच्छी सरकार बने और विकास हो और गरीबों को काम मिले, कंपनियां अच्छी चले। इस बार इस बार बड़े इंटरेस्टिंग है तीन पार्टियां थी कांग्रेस, बीजेपी और आमादमी कांग्रेस बीजेपी दोनों को हाँ दोनों को कुछ 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 परसेंट कुछ क्षेत्रों में हाँ कुछ क्षेत्रों में विकास तो ये मतलब आम आदमी पार्टी जो है नुकसान पहुंचाएगी हाँ हाँ शहरों में शहरों में खास कर और सबसे बड़ा सूरत का मुद्दा क्या है सूरत का मुद्दा टेक्सटाइल का है टेक्सटाइल हाँ वहाँ रोजगार टेक्सटाइल का है लोगों को र कोई भी सरकार हो, कांग्रेस आए, भाजपा आए, विकास करे। विकास करे। ये आपने अच्छी बात बोली। कोई भी सरकार हो, लोगों को काम अच्छा चलता रहे। So you know, Sonia, many different kind of voices, many opinions, but something which is very common, especially in Surat. Surat is an industrial hub. Most of the maximum revenue goes from Surat, and there's a major industry. You know, be it the textile industry, be it the diamond merchants, and they are saying that we do not want any communal tension because be it a Hindu, be it a Muslim, everybody is involved in this business chain. So if communal tension happens, the entire business chain gets affected, which ultimately impacts the house, the household of a common people so they are saying that we want a government which basically ensures that there is communal peace and also uh, you know there are amenities and facilities yes. to businessmen and many first time first time voters in fact told us Sonia that they are going to vote cast their ballot on employment jobs and change now whether that changes Aam Aadmi Party or Congress or BJP well uh, that is something uh, that remains to be seen and of course, that's interesting because as we know, Home Minister Amit Shah has also said that the BJP is the only party which can ensure uh, peace. The fact that he said there's been no curfew in Gujarat since 2002. So, Ankita, just back to you because really the highlights because we've seen Prime Minister Modi's roadshow, that mega roadshow. But we also had Arvind Kejriwal, uh, Bhagwant Man and Harbhajan Singh. The ARP big roadshow also in Ahmedabad, which is the main focus now. So, just update us on that as we look at the highlights of today.
you know, uh, this uh, entire road show that uh, was done by Arvind Kejriwal also an indication somewhere trying to project himself as the main contender against Prime Minister Narendra Modi while the BJP is hoping that they would be able to gloss over the cracks of the anti-incumbency, of the misgovernance uh, in certain areas and uh, the dissatisfaction among the people uh, with the local government using the Prime Minister's face, the AAP is trying to be the main challenger. That's what the whole roadshow was all about. As we build up to this, uh, in fact, uh, Malikarjun Kharge, the Congress chief, spoke about Ravan and today the Prime Minister had his turn to reply to him. And this is something that the BJP machinery and the Prime Minister has done many times before and has done very successfully on the, all these comments being personalized and being used to make an emotional connect with the people of Gujarat. Listen in. इतने कांग्रेस ना आला कमाने आदरणीय खड़गे जी ने यह मोक लिया कांग्रेस पार्टी ना नवा प्रमुख से एम ने मोक लिया अने खड़गे जी ने वो उड़ खुश हूँ एम ने खूब आदर करूँ छो एम ने सम्मान करूँ छो पर खड़गे जी ने तो ये बोलूँ पड़े जे एम ने त्यागी बनाई मोक लिया हुआ है हवे तमे मने को राम भक्तों ना एमना पासे बोला वड़ा वाम आवियो कि तमे मोदी ने सो माथा वालो रावण को तमे जेटलो कीचड़ उछाल सो इतनूज कमर बधारे खिलवान ऊचे मोदी जी तो हर वक्त आकर यही कहते हैं कि मुझे देख के वोड़ दो मोदी को वोड़ दो तो लोग तो मोदी को ही वोड़ दे रहे सत्तावी सत्तावी साल से फिर भी यह अत्याचार क्यों कम नहीं हो रहे इसकी वजह क्या है क्योंकि वो ये नहीं चाहते कि तीन दलित आदिवासी इनके समस्या हल हो जाए पक्की गारंटी है गुजरात में एक मार्च के बाद आपका बिजली का बिल जीरो आया करेगा जिस जिस को जीरो बिजली का बिल चाहिए सारे जने झाड़ू पे बटन दबा देना चाहिए कि नहीं चाहिए और सारे सर्वे में आ रहा है आम आदमी पार्टी की सरकार बन रही है बीजेपी जाए छे आम आदमी पार्टी आवे छे First phase of polling in Gujarat in 89 of 182 seats, even as a high decibel campaign continued for the second phase, with the Prime Minister holding the longest road show ever by an Indian politician. The first phase in important seats including Saurashtra, Kutch, Surat and Rajkot had prominent candidates like incumbent Home Minister Harsh Sangvi, Aam Admi Party's Chief Minister Face Isudan Gadvi, Aam Admi Party's State President Gopal Italia, क्रिकेटर रविंद्र जडेजा's wife विवाबा जडेजा अवश्य चारों चार सीट भारतीय जनता पार्टी जीत पाएगी प्रत्याशी अच्छी तरह से उन्होंने प्रचार प्रसिद्धि की है भारतीय जनता पार्टी एक अनुभव के साथ और युवा पीढ़ियों को तैयार करने के माध्यम ये दोनों एक जो पिलर्स हैं उनको रेडी करने में मानने वाली पार्टी है the first phase of polling in Gujarat is a high-stakes battle for all parties, especially for the BJP which had a tough time securing seats in the tribal belt of Saurashtra in the last elections. Nevertheless, leaders were confident. After 27 years in power in Gujarat, there is not a shred of anti-incumbency. This time around, it's not just the Congress, the incumbent BJP has to fight. New entrant, Aam Admi Party, which has campaigned aggressively, especially in Surat, a BJP bastion. But Congress candidates who had a low-key campaign made tacit statements today. Congress's Amreli MLA Paresh Dhananj reached the polling station with a gas cylinder. Voters today had many issues on their mind. It's uh, my pleasure to say that uh, our country is growing fast and I, I like this. For the first time, voters the most important issue seemed jobs and employment. Yuva ko bhi pehle koi interest nahi tha elections mein bhi, but ab dheere dheere Yuva ko bhi elections mein interest aa raha hai. I voted on the basis of how reachable those 
कैंपेन्स हुआ वोटर्स फ्रॉम द सौराष्ट्र रीजन मोस्ट ऑफ द ट्राइबल बेल्ट कच सूरत राजकोट मोरबी वोटेड ऑन सेवरल इशूज इंक्लूडिंग इन्फ्लेशन इंक्लूडिंग अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट सम बिजनेस मैन इंक्लू यू नो वोटेड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ विच गवर्नमेंट इज गोइंग टू गिव दम एम्यूनिटीज बट ऑल दीज डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑल दीज एरियाज विच वोटेड टूडे आर एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर ऑल द पार्टीज एंड स्पेशली फॉर द भारतीय जनता पार्टी विच इज विटनेसिंग अ ट्राइंगुलर कॉन्टेस्ट इन फाइटिंग नॉट जस्ट अगेंस्ट द कांग्रेस बट ऑल्सो अगेंस्ट न्यू एंट्रेंट दी आम आदमी पार्टी विद कैमरा पर्सन रवि जोशी इन सूरत आम तक Shri Pandey for NTTV. Well, a quick update on what's happening at Mumbai Airport. The servers were down earlier this evening, leading to chaos. But the latest is that the systems have now been restored, according to Mumbai Airport authorities. There was apparently a network interruption, which led to the servers coming down because a cable was cut during construction. Various ticketing systems were interrupted, including uh, also systems for check-in. But all systems are now restored and working. A quick look at other news. Well, the Telangana Chief Minister's daughter K Kavita has been named by the Enforcement Directorate as part of their remand report in the Delhi liquor case. She's been named as part of a South group, and according to the ED, huge amounts of money were involved. K Kavita has denied all these charges and says this is part of a BJP game plan. <laughs> A show of strength and a dare by Kalvakuntla Kavita, the Telangana Chief Minister's daughter, after she was named in a remand report filed by the Enforcement Directorate following the arrest of Gurugram businessman Amit Arora, accused in the Delhi liquor policy case. किसी भी प्रदेश में इलेक्शन होने वाला होता है, वहाँ मोदी से पहले ईडी पहुँच जाता है। मोदी जी अगर आपको जेल में डालना है तो डालो, कोई टेंशन नहीं, चले जाएंगे। लेकिन लोगों के लिए काम करना नहीं छोड़ेंगे बीजेपी के जो फेल्यूर्स है उसको एक्सपोज करना भी नहीं छोड़ेंगे वी वेलकम द एजेंसी वी विल एब्सोल्युटली कोऑपरेट विद देम एंड वी आर नॉट स्केर्ड ऑफ एनीथिंग द ईडी सेज अरोरा टोल्ड देम दैट कविता वाज कंट्रोलिंग व्हाट वाज कॉल्ड अ साउथ ग्रुप दैट अलेजेडली पेड 100 करोड़ रुपीस एज किकबैक वाया अनदर अरेस्टेड बिजनेसमैन विजय नायर टू आप लीडर्स A second reference against Kavita comes up in connection with alleged destruction of digital evidence. The agency claims 170 devices were used by accused and only 17 were found. Kavita allegedly used 10 iPhone devices, six phones with one number between December last year and April, and then four phones with a second number in August and September. Right from Manish Manish Sodia. to this cm of telangana uh, they are involved in this liquor scam and the honest government of nda when they are trying to expose such type of corrupt politicians the honorable chief minister of the tr government has now as a cavet created and scripted the poch gate issue Kavita did not rebut or go into the specifics of the allegations against her but instead attributed political motives to her name coming up in the case neither her father chief minister K Chandrasekhar Rao nor her brother minister K T Rama Rao has so far commented publicly on the developments with camera person Nagraju in Hyderabad Uma Sudhir NDTV Moving now to what is really a shameful story. What happened to a young woman, a woman from South Korea, who was doing a live vlog from Mumbai? Just take a look at this shameful incident. Where are we going? Ha 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 ha! Ah! Oh, no 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 The molestation of this South Korean woman, a YouTuber, streamed live last night in Mumbai. Huh? Itch. 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 Time to go home. Ah, bye bye. Oh, bye bye. Come this 
Jesus. No, 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 no. Well, yeah, my, you? my, it's over there. Jason? Huh? Jason? Yeah, yeah, my, my house this is there. Is no, 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 no. Home, home. Home, my home over there. Okay. 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 After the video went viral, the Mumbai police registered a sexual assault case on their own and have arrested the accused, identified as 19-year-old Mobin Chan Muhammad Sheikh and 20-year-old Muhammad Nakeb Ansari. In an interview to NDTV, the woman thanked the Mumbai police for acting fast in the case and said she tried her best not to escalate the situation as there were two men molesting her. She, however, does not hold the horrifying experience against the country. This type of thing quite happen often because I'm doing live streaming and it draws attention and they want to engage. So I say, yeah, on the way, I say, oh yeah, I love you back. And he, but he started to come and he put his arm on my shoulder and tried to kiss me one time. And at that time I was like, okay, this could turn into very situation that I want to be. So I try my best not to escalate the situation and leave. After the incident, many across Mumbai a city considered safe for women said they were concerned. Safe a place, but fir bhi nahi karna tha. Even the stairs that they give, they feel we feel yeah, unsafe, unsafe with the stairs yeah. that they give itself. They don't need to come up to us, but the way they stare at us while we are walking makes us very uncomfortable. Actually, ye sab jaane ke baad fir aisa lagta hai ki, uh, even we are not safe. Yeah. After the prompt action taken by the police, both the accused have now been sent to a one-day police custody. Yojung Park, on the other hand, has said that she is happy with the action taken by Mumbai police and she will continue with her trip in India. In Mumbai, with camera person Rajin Radhyalkar, Sohit Mashra, NDTV. Sadly, that experience which happened shouldn't happen with any woman. Luckily, she says that this has marred her experience of India. In a quick look at other news, well, India has formally taken over the G20 presidency today with the foreign minister saying India will represent the Global South as the president of G20. It's also a time when we must become the voice of the Global South that is otherwise underrepresented in such forums. Countries of Asia, Africa and Latin America trust India to speak up for them. We have of late uh, been in the forefront of expressing their concerns uh, on fuel, on food, on fertilizers. Well, let's move across now to the party at the markets at the record high for the fifth straight session. Let's go across to Priyanshi for more. Sonia hitting record highs has interestingly become a norm for the markets for the last one week. Markets hit a record high for the fifth straight session. And one of the reasons behind that surge are foreign investors coming back. But more on that later. Sensex has gained 185 points and ended at 63,284, while Nifty gained 54 points and ended at 18,812. With this rally, markets have gained almost 4% in the last one month. And investors have gained 4.9 lakh crore of wealth in a week. Now, one of the sources of that surge are foreign portfolio investments. Foreign investors have turned net buyers in Indian markets for the first time after two months. In both September and October, investors were taking money out of Indian markets. They withdrew 7,624 lakh crore in September and then 8 lakh crore in October. In November, they've actually invested money, adding 36,239 lakh crore. Now, an immediate trigger for the markets today and the foreign inflows was U.S. Fed Chairman signaled that interest rate hikes might be lower next. Interest rate hikes were one of the primary reasons dragging the markets earlier. So now, the lower rate hike hopes are boosting the markets. Uh, the U.S. Fed Chairman said that it's time to moderate pace uh, of the rate hikes from December. This caused a rally in the U.S. markets and the Indian markets clearly followed.